okay hello there uh, today we are uh, we are going to discuss something on three estates of france during 18th century but before we start i want you to think over few of the questions that is what is inequality how does inequality affect people in different spheres like social economical and political how should ruler deal with such situation what courses of actions are available to citizen when ruler prove to be incapable of solving their problem so i want you to pause this video and think over these questions okay why i have asked you such question the reason being that that we have seen in our last video that king louis 16 proved to be failure to solve the problem of their people and this led to the french revolution that we have seen now uh, coming back to our topic, uh, it is important to understand few of the key terms before we start our video class. That is, first one is feudal system. What is feudal? Feudal means a social system that existed during the Middle Ages in Europe. In this system, people were given land and protection by a nobleman and had to work and fight for him in return. Means, let's consider a situation that there is a person X who is a nobleman and ABC are the people to whom he is giving protection and land. And in return, these people, that is ABC, have to work for this nobleman X and they need to fight for him in return. Now, next one, next term is tithes. What is tithes? Tithes means the taxes levied by the church comprising one tenth of the agricultural produce. Tithe itself means one tenth, means the farmer need to pay one tenth of the agricultural produce to the church. Next tax is tail. This tax to be paid directly to the government to the tax. So this is a kind of direct tax that is tail. Next one is subsistence crisis. What is subsistence, uh, subsistence crisis? It is an extreme situation where the basic means of livelihood are endangered. Means when the people were find when people find themselves to be incapable of fulfilling their basic needs of food, shelter, and cloth. Such situation is known as subsistence crisis. Now, after discussing these terms, let's come back to our topics that is three estates at uh, in the time of 18th century. Yes. Now, estates means classes or groups. We know that in ancient time, our India was decided uh, was divided into four estates like Brahmin, Kshatriya, Vaishya, and Shudra. Similarly, France was divided into three estates. That is, first estate, second estate, and third estate. Yeah, so here we go. First estate comprised of the clergy. What is clergy? Clergy were the group of persons who were given special function in the church. So these are the people who holds a special position in the church. They enjoyed certain privileges. Privileges mean certain rights by birth like they need not to pay any taxes to the state, to the government. Further, church levied, church imposed a tax called tithe that we have seen recently from the peasants which comprised of one tenth of the agriculture produce. Next estate means they were quite privileged. They, don't, they need not to pay any sort of tax. In return, they are also getting some of the agricultural produce that is one tenth of their agricultural produce from the farmer. Okay. The next estate is the nobility which is also known as second estate. It consisted of rich Aristro aristocrat people. Aristocrat people means the people who are noble by birth means like king, like ministers. These all are known as aristocrats of the state, of the government. They also enjoyed privilege of exemption from paying, from paying taxes to the government. So they also need not pay any sort of taxes to the government. Next one is they also enjoyed feudal privileges. We have seen what are feudal privileges. Okay, what is feudal system? Okay, this privilege was also given to these noble men means they are also collecting feudal dues feudal dues means feudal taxes which they extract from the peasants because they have given them land now the next uh, next estate is third estate so here comes the third estate it consists of the rest of the population either uh, businessmen merchants court officials lawyers peasants artisans landless uh, landless laborers etc falls under third estate they had no privilege means they are not given any short of privileges they do not have any any short of uh, any short of privileges that uh, which were enjoyed by clergy that is first estate and nobility that is second estate they had to pay direct taxes called tail to the state 
as well as number of indirect taxes were also levied on the articles of the daily consumption means the other indirect taxes were imposed on the articles of daily requirement like food like salt like tobacco which were used in general by each and every people and peasants made up to 90% of the population of france and most of the tax was levied on uh, most of the taxes were levied on the peasants so they were under miserable con- uh, condition because they need they were uh, they were under debt because more than their income the taxes were imposed on them okay so uh, the number of taxes were more than the amount of income so this was the situation that this third estate was facing now i want you to ask a few questions uh, these questions are first one name the classes which formed the privileged estates first one second one who belonged to the third estate which estate of french society paid all taxes so these are the questions from this part yes so take a look at this picture this picture shows that there is a noble person okay there is a noble man and there is a poor fellow this poor fellow brings everything like grain fruits money salad to the lord okay and the fat lord sits there ready to accept it all but even he do not care of giving a look of grace to him okay so he is looking at him in arrogant manner as you can see from the picture so here what you need to do is you have to explain why the artist has portrayed the nobleman as the spider and peasant as the fly here the artist is saying that is comparing this nobleman with spider and this peasant with the fly you need to answer this question that why this artist is comparing is saying him as spider this nobleman and saying this peasant as fly okay so now coming back to our topic that is the next topic that we'll start is the struggle to survive but before we start this i want you to ask a few questions again uh, when the people were in crisis whom do they look up to for the help what is it that these people can find most useful in such kind of crisis in such kind of situation that we have seen that is subsidiary crisis subsistence crisis sorry so i want you to pause this video and think over it again okay now let's start with the struggle to survive during 1715 to 1789 the population of france increased rapidly which led to the rapid increase in demand for food and grain so adding to the problem of peasants and the common man that was the 90% population of the france uh, there was rapid increase rapid growth in the population which in turn increased the demand of food and grain insufficient produ- production increased the price of bread and the wages of the workers did not keep in pace with the rise in these prices and this situation become worse when the bad weather conditions reduced the harvest and this this condition created the subsistence crisis so we have seen the three reasons of the subsistence crisis first one is that there was rapid growth rapid increase in the population during the time of 1715 to 1789 secondly it was that the that the income or the production was uh, of the workers was not in pace or the wages of the workers were not in pace with the rise in the prices means their wages were fixed then how can they cope up with this rise in prices and third one is the bad weather condition the worst weather condition actually okay which they were facing during that time and it worsen the condition of this third estate now due to this due to this something had happened in the france what had happened due to this there was emergence of the middle class so in the 18th century during this period the new social group came into the picture who were known as middle class due to this bad situation what is middle class who are the people that belonged to this class they are the people who had become rich by expanding of overseas trade due to the overseas trade they went to the they went to other country for selling of their goods over they went overseas to sell their goods uh, and they became rich due to that in addition to merchants and manufacturers there were even lawyers and administrative officials who were educated so merchants 
were the part of middle class but the educated people like lawyers and administrative officials were also the part of the middle class and their beliefs were that that no group or of the society should be privileged no group uh, no none of the group of the society should be given this kind of special rights by birth okay if they are capable if they earn those rights if they earn something then that is different thing but by birth no one should be privileged this was the thinking of these these educated people of the middle class and the philosopher who are the philosopher philosophers are the logical and practical people who work for the well being of the society okay these uh, these kind of people were known as philosophers so philosophers like john locke john jacks and rousseau and Mo montesquieu considered uh, the middle class was the solely responsible for the revolution their ideologies their thoughts uh, were responsible for the air of revolution in france they spread their ideas of freedom equal laws and opportunities for all so their ideas were of equal laws means everyone is equal against law okay no one is given privilege in terms of law and in terms of opportunity everyone uh, needs everyone ne uh, everyone uh, should get equal opportunity based on their capabilities okay these were the ideas which this middle class uh, have uh, do possess okay now the ideas of these philosophers now john locke uh, in his two treaties of government criticized the concept of divine or absolute right of the monarch monarch means king what is divine right or absolute right divine right means everyone godly rights means like the king used to be considered as god and all the rights were given to king means whatever decision taken by the king uh, is considered to be the god's decision means no one can question on his decision that why has he made such kind of decision no one was allowed to question on that so that is called divine right uh, which was criticized by john locke in his book true treatise of government next one rose in his book the social contract proposed the form of government based on social contract between people and their representative what is social contract everyone social contract is a kind of theory that is proposed by rose that suggest that laws according to the will of the people which are implemented or executed by these representatives so the laws should be according to the will of the people that is suggested in the social contract uh, next one is montesquieu in his book the spirit of the laws stressed the concept of separation of powers so he stressed upon the concept that powers should be separated uh, between legislature what is legislature legislature me legislature means law forming body of the government the executive means the executive means the officers or the people or the group of people who implement this law that is called uh, executives and judiciary means the court of course court system is known as judiciary so they are say uh, this uh, the spirit of the law suggest that the power should be separated between these three bodies and his concept of separation of power was great instrument against the autocratic rule of the french emperor now american constitution and its guarantee of individual rights was an important example of political thinkers of france the american constitution was was derived due to this kind of rational thinking or the political thinkers of the france now these ideas now the question arises that how did the idea reached to the people how did these ideas reached to the common man these ideas were spread among the people through the books and newspapers with the news that louis 16 is planning to impose more taxes when they heard that louis 16 was planning to impose more taxes to meet the expenses of the government we have seen that he was not he was not a capable ruler he was not a capable king it generated anger and protest against the system uh, system of privileges the system of special rights and advantages which were given uh, among the people okay so that's it about today's video but before we leave i have planned a puzzle for you and even there is uh, there are a few question that i wanted to ask to you so these questions are first one that is the 18th century witnessed the emergence of which social group in france second one what was the name of the direct tax collected by the state from the peasants in 18th century france next one is 
name the authors of the following books first one is the social contract and second one is two treaties of government next question is what was so before we leave let's summarize today's video we have learned so far that during the 18th century french society was divided into three estates that were clergy nobility and the rest of the population constituted the third estate only third estate played all the taxes because nobility and clergy were considered to be privileged classes rapid expansion of the french society led to the subsistence crisis where the basic means of the livelihood are endangered actually we have seen three reasons for the subsistence crisis that is rapid expansion of population second one was that the wages of the laborers were fixed and due to that they were un they were finding themselves incapable of paying all the taxes and third reason was that that the bad weather condition that they were facing simu simultaneously during this time next point that we have seen that a growing middle class consider uh, consisting traders manufacturers lawyers administrators etc wanted to end the privileges of the nobility and the clergy and last one that we have seen the ideas of great philosophers like john locke rousseau and montesquieu influenced influenced the french people uh, here is the uh, the mind map is given over here that is causes of french revolution why the french revolution was closed the uh, uh, political social economical reasons and even the ideas of philosophers are listed over here the political reasons are absolute monarchy that is by louis 16 had unlimited power that is divine rule was performed by him and led to the and he led a luxurious life second political reason is insufficient uh, in efficient government the minister uh, the ministers at that time were corrupt and were selected on the basis of the birth and favoritism means they were considered to be noble by birth the next reason is social reason that over exploitation of the middle class due to feudal system this the people of the middle class and the people of third estate were over exploited next reason is uh, the next re reason is economical reason that is debt due to wars we have seen that france engaged in long years of wars in the first video which drained the financial resources and the participation in american war of independence added to more debt that we have seen in the last video next is next economical reason is unfair taxes that were levied inequality in taxes as the uh, as the burden was on the third estate so it was burden on third estate because first estate and second est estate need not pay any sort of taxes ideas given uh, uh, now let's come to the ideas of the philosophers that is idea given by the philosopher like john locke john uh, roseau uh, influenced the common people that we have seen in this video thank you so much everyone